BBC WM. Uh, April 26th. Now, it, it might be a birthday on April the 26th. It might be an anniversary. It might be a date that uh, is notable for you. It's notable for, uh, for, for one man in particular in the studio with me, Lee Hendry, former Villa star, of course. He is running the London Marathon for Cure Leukaemia. Lee, how are you? I'm very good, mate. Very good. Now, you're naturally fit anyway, but uh, how many marathons have you run so far? Um, none. <laughs> I've never run one in my life, not even a half marathon. So um, it's all right being fit, but, you know, I think having that football fitness and actually running a marathon is, is completely different, to be honest with you, mate. So I know I've always been quite good long distance running and stuff like that at school, but I think I've done max is probably about the 800 metres or something like that, which I used to do in a good time, but it's a big difference. So, what made you do it? To be honest with you, we had um, a big event um, at Villa Park for Cure Leukemia, and you know I seen all the you know the rewarding things that people had done, uh, raising awareness and and so much money for the charity, um, and obviously being quite close to you know Cure Leukemia with the Legends Cup and stuff. I just you know they've done a lot for me, helping me along the way when you know things have been a little bit tight and and a little bit down and. And I just thought, you know, seeing some of the inspirational things that some of these guys have done, I just thought I'd love to raise some money for charity and, and cure leukaemia being close to my heart. You know, I've always wanted to do the London Marathon. I rang up and I said, is there any chance I could do it? And they said, funny, funny enough, we've got a space. And I went, well, put me in, I'll have it. And from then on, they've, um, they've put me forward and I'm all accepted and I'm all uh, signed up and ready to rock. Well, BBC WM, of course, has, has done a lot of work with Cure Leukemia and uh, Stan Petrov as well. It's it's a fantastic charity based in Birmingham. Yeah, it is, and that, and that's the other thing. You know, I, I'm, obviously, I know Stan really well. You know what a great guy he is. Um, he's done, you know, wonders with what what's happened. Um, just reading one of his tweets that you know he's coming to the end of his his treatment, and you know, thank God he's got through all of that through so much difficulty um you know that his, his family and uh, and stuff have gone through and you know hats off to him and to all the people that have supported him as well along the way and it's just raising that awareness and you know hopefully we're doing stuff like this and and, and raising a few quid we can get a, a lot more medicine and and hopefully find a cure what's the training regime been like so far for you because <laughs> you're still playing a bit aren't you yeah i'm still playing a bit um i'm playing a bit on on a, on a saturday um uh, just for, you know, in the middle and calm, just keeping fit. Um, but, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I've got, you know, my Lee Andre Academy that I've, I've got up and running, um, working with the youngsters. So, you know, I'm starting to bed myself into sort of the runs and started to doing a, a few f sort of five, six milers, just sort of getting getting the feel for it, you know, seeing how I, I, I'll, I'll get. And then obviously I'll step it up to sort of the half marathon and then, you know, see how I feel to that and, and, and hopefully just try and get a couple of full marathons in before we actually uh, get to the date. Have you spoken to uh, mates of yours or people you know who've done marathons? Yeah, well, I mean, I was going to ask you about um, if you had any tips for me because you didn't you run around Molyneux in a mankini or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my tip to you is don't run the London Marathon in a mankini. <laughs> well, I won't be doing that. Well, not, my, not my mankini anyway. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I've, to be honest with you, I've, I've I've got a few people that are, are going to give me some guidelines and tips and stuff. Um, you know, obviously, I'm going to need a little, little bit of strength work. I'm, I'm 37, turning 38 in May, so you know, the old legs are not really going to take um, take it too uh, mm. too easily. And I've been on Twitter. We've had, I've had, um, well, it's a funny tweet from um, one of the world record holders, uh, Kimoto or something, and we had a bit of banter on there. And he said, oh, "I'll see you on the, the start line." So I think I'll be inboxing him for a few uh, few, few pointers, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, you're pretty competitive, though. Have you set yourself a time? <sighs> do, you, do you know what? That's that's the worst thing about me is that. I'll want to try and win it. I'm not. I'm never. Obviously, I'm never going to win it. But the thing is with me, I'm. I'm. I'm a winner, and I want to compete and get the best out of it as as I possibly can. So if it, you know, I'll be pushing my boundaries to the max. You know, it won't be a stroll around the park. I will be trying to get in in the quickest time I possibly can. And, you know, it'd be a great day as well and, and raising a few quid, an extra bonus. You've got the shirt there, the, the Cure Leukemia yeah. shirt with uh, Hendry on there. <laughs> How many people running for Cure Leukemia? Do we know this year? Uh, there's only there's only uh, two Just, people. Yeah. OK, and yeah. you're one of them. Yeah, and I'm one of them. So um, I'm trying to get as much sponsorship in as possible. I really, really want to smash it in the sponsorship way and, and try and get a good few quid. And, you know, I'm looking for sponsors. 
I'm looking for people to get behind and 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 really give this a, a good push and it'd be great to to sort of know where I'm at at a baseline and, and maybe put a little bit of a carrot for someone to say you know if I finish in a a certain time you know or if I don't then it might be a forfeit like shave my hair off or something like that. <laughs> I don't know about that though. Or run around Molyneux in a Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so maybe for the last uh, five miles uh, to get to the finish line. Yeah, just that incentive to raise more money yeah, to keep be, you going, I suppose. Yeah, and it be that's what I mean. It, it's something to keep me going, and and obviously the main thing is is that you know I'm raising as much money as I possibly can. Lee Hendry with us. He is running the London Marathon, first ever marathon that he's done in his life for cure leukemia, and and all football fans and, and everybody. Let's let's try and raise as much money as we can for cure leukemia, which is a fantastic charity. And for Lee, just give us that uh, website again. The website is www virginmoneygiving.com slash Lee Hendry and that's where you can you know you can put Pledge. as much money as you can. <laughs> Lee, great to see you. Thanks again, mate.